you're calling me back in five minutes. Hi, Michael. How are you? One in three people are a stepchild, step sibling. They're, they're part of a step family. Well, first of all, you know, Michael, I really just want to say thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you to your producers for giving me this opportunity. And I wrote the Blended Family Survival Guide because 14 years ago when I met my husband, man of my dreams, but he just happened to come with two beautiful boys and they both had different mothers. And we went on to have our child together. And even prior to that, I grew up in a blended family. So having experienced it on every side, I decided to write the book that I wish I had. So this book is very much the what to expect when you're expecting, but for blended families. And my goal at the end of the day is that the families everywhere, they just they bring the book into their homes because it's, it's really going to be a tool to help them. And even if, you know, people don't have a blended family that they're a part of now, I'm pretty sure they have a brother, a sister, a friend, somebody that is going to help. So we're hoping that it just becomes a staple in people's homes. You need this book because <laughs> if you want to survive and thrive in a blended family, it's going to provide you with all the answers from somebody who actually experienced it. And if you're co-parenting in two different homes, you're going to eventually get married or be in a serious relationship. You want to make sure that the person that you're marrying will love your child just as much as you do. So this book is, is, is really a necessity. Thank you so much for the opportunity again. Thank you. You too. God, thank you. Oh, wow. Excellent. Wow. You sounded okay? You sounded perfect. You sound like you've been interviewed a hundred times before. Well, you know, one of my things was I said that, you know, You know how they say when life gives you lemons, you make lemonades. I was like, no, I'm gonna make a lemonade empire. Yeah, a lemonade stand, not just a lemonade stand, but like literally. Even in the Bible, it talks about like the person that was given one talent, two talents. You know, and and how, you know, one of the people they basically just took what they had and hid it, as opposed to some of the others, they were multiplying what they had. And I I just felt like. With this, if you're given this type of opportunity, it's not by coincidence. So what are you going to do with it?